June 6th, 2020, I brought a group of elite SMMA closers out to a remote Airbnb in a Nicaraguan jungle. On this day, we were able to close 11 SMMA clients in one single day, which is still a personal best for me. In this video, if I can do one pull up, there's a pull up bar over here. If I can do one pull up per client close that day, I'm gonna show you exactly the sources of traffic we used what niche this was, and this is a super high volume niche. Of all the niches I've ever been in, it's the easiest to close a large volume of clients. I'm gonna show you the niche, I'm gonna show you the B2B traffic, I'm gonna show you the B2C traffic, how to generate appointments for them, how to get them results, and surprise, surprise, this is another niche masterclass. So let's jump into it. I took my steroids today, so hopefully we can crank these out and get into the video. I'll see you guys there. All right, lucky you guys, time to learn all my secrets. So story time, let's talk about how and why I brought a team of closers to a Nicaraguan jungle Airbnb. So the year was 2020, my agency was doing really well. We were closing clients very consistently in the mortgage niche, in the Cairo niche, and we had three closers on board at this time. And the three of them were absolute killers. We had them all around this like local area. They'd all come in person occasionally for training and they were machines. I was giving them all smart drugs, I was giving them all Modafinil. You can see my TikTok about that if you go to my TikTok page. We were just cranking out sales. But like a lot of you probably, I'm a bit of a niche shopper. Like when I hear about somebody doing really well in a niche, I'm like, I gotta launch some B2B ads in it and see how it does. So I heard some rumors about this niche that I was looking at going into and people were doing really well in it and closing a lot of clients who I knew weren't that good of agency owners. So I was like, if they can be closing that many per week, how many can I close? How many can my SEAL Team 6 of SMMA closers close? So we're going into a new niche. I have this team of really good closers and we hadn't had a team trip for a while so i was like all right look we're moving to a new niche we got all these closers let's get them all in one place so we go to nicaragua i get us an airbnb in nicaragua it's like an hour out of the jungle like you land in the airport you gotta drive like an hour hour and a half just to get there so we get attacked by a one-armed man in a gas station so if you're looking to visit nicaragua just be aware there's a lot of one-armed men uh who want to kill you but that type of getting attacked at a random gas station in nicaragua encourages you to close more clients. I promise you it does, as you'll see here soon. So we get all the clothes in, the, in this Airbnb. And one of the important things that we did that a lot of you need to keep in mind is when we moved into this new niche, we came prepared. Like we got the pitch deck put together. We got our offer put together. We learned what other agencies were doing for acquisition. We learned what B2B sources they were running. So when we moved into this new niche, we had the contracts built. We had everything put together so that when we moved, we moved and we moved with force and with speed and we were able to go in and close 11 clients in one day so we get we get all the closers out to this airbnb and we're like okay let's start the traffic let's start the meetings let's get familiar with this niche and the first few days were just build up getting meetings learning the lingo of the new niche learning exactly how the niche works what the problems are you know what we're getting rejected for when we're pitching them what we need to change on the pitch deck etc cetera, etc cetera. and after a few days of this we build up a roster of deals that were like right on the edge. So, you know, we all got together in these two rooms that have like a divided living room. And my business partner, who was like our top closer, he'd be the one to step in as the deal was about to close. He and the closers were able to wrap up 11 deals in one day. It was a buildup of a few days. It was a buildup of doing things right, having the right offer, running the right B2B traffic, like I'm gonna show you guys here, and also being in the right niche. This particular niche is an extremely high close rate niche. If you know how to press on the sales calls, if you know exactly what to do, you can close a crazy amount of people in this niche. 11 in one day was our record, but it's not like we, we didn't close a ton more over the course of the next few months. So what I'm going to teach you guys here is how to close in this niche, what we did to be able to achieve such a crazy result and a full niche breakdown. Because I don't just want to show you guys how to get clients. I wanted to teach you how to deliver for them so you can retain them and build a freaking big agency. So that's it for the part, guys. We're going inside we're going back to my dungeon i'm going to build out a bunch of ads for you guys and show you exactly how this is all done see you guys there so the highest close rate niche on the planet is drum roll roofing now 
Let me tell you guys something about roofing. A quick disclaimer here. If you can't close in roofing, then you can't close in any niche. It's so easy that it's actually a good measure of if you should be handling the closing for your agency. If you can't close in the roofing niche, then you need to develop a 50-50 partnership with someone who knows how to close. You need to find the Steve Jobs to your Wozniak because if you can't close in this niche, then you're not really going to be able to close at all. So let's jump into it. I'm going to show you guys everything about how to generate appointments, how to get leads, how to close them, contracts, everything, another full niche masterclass. Let's jump into the slides. Everything you need to know about the highest close rate niche on the planet, which is freaking roofing. Pros of the roofing niche. Number one, we've already talked about, it has an extremely high close rate. Roofers are buyers. The only way they get jobs is either through reputation or through marketing. And they're notorious for spending a lot of money on some really bad marketing investments. So if you're in roofing, you should be able to close, no problem. Number two, voicemail drops work really well. You can build an entire agency off of just voicemail drops in roofing. There's honestly not a better niche for voicemail drops. And I have another video on my channel. Don't go watch it though, I need that watch time, so stay around. Uh, number three, TikTok ads work for them, both B2B and B2C. One of the things I look for in modern niches in the year 2023 is can TikTok ads be used? If they can, it's a massive advantage. Usually the costs are much lower, the competition's lower, and areas that are traditionally not the best, areas that are traditionally fatigued, quote unquote, aren't fatigued with TikTok ads. Uh, number four, Facebook and TikTok work for B2B. So you have two different channels you can run ads for to generate meetings. If one slows down, you swap to the other. If the other slows down, you swap to the other. And you can supplement this with voicemail drops. So you have multiple angles of attack. This is why I did in Nicaragua. This is why I was able to come in so fast and generate so many meetings and close so many deals in one day. It's just set up that well. They respond well to pressure closing. Now, if there were ever a time to use slimy sales techniques, roofing is that time. Generally, they like to be pressured and you can pressure them. So if you have some cojones and you uh, have the ability to push people on a sales call, you're going to close a lot of deals. You can grow a large agency very quickly in roofing. Some of the fastest scaling agencies I have ever seen come up in the agency space, and I've been around a lot, uh, have been roofing agencies. If done right and done with the right B2B measures put in place and the right pricing structure, which I'm gonna show you, you can rack up a lot of clients very quickly, much more quickly than other niches. Cons of the roofing niche. Their medium retention high close. They're not one of the highest retention niches on the planet. You're going to have clients that drop off month two, month three, but you're also going to have clients that stick around forever. The goal is to close enough that you get a, you rack up a lot of clients that are sticking around forever. High close rate, medium retention. Is that a con? Maybe. It's just a different type of agency. You just have to optimize around that. Number two, they don't call the leads, duh. I put duh on the side, so I have to say duh. No niche calls the leads. If you think your niche is gonna call the leads at this point, go go sell some AliExpress items through, through a Shopify store or whatever the hell you wanna do. This is SMMA. The niches don't call the leads. I don't call the leads. No one calls the leads. No one has ever called the leads. No one's ever going to call the leads. Roofing is no exception to that. I'm gonna show you how to fix that in this presentation, but don't expect them to be good at calling the leads. No niche ever is. Number three, you can't be a pussy on the phone. Most of the deals are pressure closes. You have to pressure them a little bit. Most of the deals are made in the follow-up. It's not going to be on the first call. So if you're timid and you're like, oh my God, I don't wanna you know, talk to a roofer, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. He's living out of his van, you're in a home. You shouldn't be insecure about selling and marketing. A lot of them do live out of their vans, by the way, it's kind of crazy. Number four, you have to stay out of the Texas market. Okay. Let me make a statement here, and I, I mean this from the bottom of my fucking heart. 
If any of you in the comment section after this video tell me, oh, I closed a roofing client and they're in Dallas, Texas. Why can't I generate leads? My next YouTube upload will be me naked in the freeway um, waving down semis. Now, I don't want this to happen, but this is what's going to happen if you close clients in Texas. It's the most competitive market on the planet for roofing. You need a tremendous amount of data and budget before you ever consider closing roofing clients in Texas. If you get a roofing client on the phone and they're like, hey, I'm from Dallas, you should say, hey, I do not want to even continue this conversation and then hang up with them immediately. It's done. Don't talk to no Texas clients. Overview of some important points. Only sell to clients with big radiuses. If they're like, I want three zip codes. I'm only interested in the 10 houses in these three zip codes that want roofs. Do not sell to them. This is most niches, but especially roofing. Bigger the radius, the better. I like 50 mile radius, I like 40 mile radius. I wouldn't really go lower than like 30 mile radius. These are roofers, they can drive. That's the whole point. They have vans that they live in. Number two, oh, we already went over this. Never sell in Texas. I'll say it again. Don't. Don't sell in Texas. Number three, all clients must be kept on the same pixel. I'll show you how to do this during the ads build out. This is important for all niches, but it's especially important in roofing. When you're running conversion ads, you need to make sure that your clients are firing the same conversion event on the same pixel. While you may have multiple ad accounts, it needs to be firing the same pixel. The advantage of this is you eventually train that one individual pixel, that one individual conversion event over time to become stronger and stronger. Then you have the opportunity to move into harder markets like Dallas, like Texas, like everything else and actually get cheap conversions. But you can only do this if you're building up conversion fires and data on one pixel. Number four, survey lander over lead forms. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to run lead forms. I'm always going to get cheaper leads from lead forms. That's not true in all niches. You only think that because you're a beginner and you've never ran multiple SMMAs before. Sometimes conversion ads work better. Sometimes survey ads specifically work better. Roofing is a niche where survey conversion ads work way better than lead forms. And I'll give you guys my survey lander because that's what this is all about. I'm going to give you everything from all the years that I've ever done anything. How you should price your services. Your total price needs to be kept below 2,500. This is not a rich niche. They can't be spending 4K per month, 5K per month on marketing. The total price needs to be kept below 2,500. 1,500 retainer plus 700 to 1,000 ad spend. That is the ideal model. 1,500 plus 700 to 1,000 ad spend. You can discount on the retainer if they sign three month contracts. Having them sign contracts is valuable, by the way. Um, you will retain them longer. If you are just starting, you can price your retainer at 1K and price your ad spend at 700 to 1K. Roofing clients are easy to close. Roofing clients are especially easy to close if your services come out to a total of less than 2K. When you're at that like 1800, 1900 mark, you can accidentally close roofers. It's so freaking easy easy it's ridiculous so if you want some easy clients don't do this long term you should be chart you should be getting 1500 retainer for your services but short term if you want to rack up some money rack up some clients do like 1k retainer plus 900 ad spend it makes things easy on you at least while you're learning how to close them then you can raise your prices best offer for b2b so we're talking about b2b ads what's the best offer to attract roofing clients do guaranteed appointments for them so guaranteed that they're going to be able to show up to x amount of homeowners houses or or you can guarantee leads but talk about how we're going to call them you know we have a call center we're going to call your leads for you blah, blah, blah. The roofing industry is a bit, not weathered, but they've been around for a while. A lot of them have hired a marketer or two. So you can't just say, well, I'm going to generate you leads. It either has to be, I'm going to generate you appointments or I'm going to generate you leads. Plus we're going to help you call them. And most niches these days, you're going to want a call center anyway. So I'll, t I'll teach you a little bit about that later on. Here are some example ads uh, that I've ran in the roofing space. Um, these are the highest performers. Now you see, I say roofing jobs guaranteed. It's a little bit bait and switchy. When you get them on the phone, you can say, Hey, that's 50 guaranteed leads. And we're going to call all of them, book them in on your calendar and make sure that they show up. Do they complain about that bait and switch? No, 
no one does, no one cares. They rarely even ever remember your ad. All they remember is that they have an appointment with you. Once you get them on the phone, it's then on you to pitch whatever service or guarantee that you actually wanna pitch them. But sometimes you have to be a bit more aggressive on the front end marketing. Okay, I would recommend having a call center for these guys. They don't like calling the leads. Again, no niche does. I'll do another lesson on how to do a full call center build out. But for this video, what and this is honestly enough information for you to go build it right now. All you need for a call center is call tools and a Filipino VA with excellent English. If you have those two things, one caller, one Filipino VA can handle between 15 and 20 clients worth of leads. As long as you get them on call tools and as long as they're working US hours, they can dial a ton of leads. They can schedule in a ton of leads for your clients. You can use high level for this. You can use other software. I really like call tools. The reason why is because it has very advanced lead routing. You can tell it, call the leads every three hours for the first day. On the second day, I want you to call the leads every four hours. On the third day, every five hours, and then two calls per day ad finitum. So it has more advanced features for scheduling out your, your calls to the leads. More advanced than high level, it has better lead routing. It's easier for your caller to schedule them in on a calendar because it shows them what calendar belongs to which lead. Um, it does take a little bit to set up, but you guys can do it. I believe in you, you're intelligent, you're on my channel. <laughs> if, if you've understood the presentations I've done so far, uh, you can probably figure it out really easily. Sales resources, pitch deck, and the contract. As always, I'm hooking you guys up. I'm not gonna go through these on the presentation, but the slides are in the description from the slides. You can click off, get your pitch deck, get your contract. These are ones I've used to close a ton of roofing clients over the years. Uh, so use them wisely. Okay, best platforms for B2B. You can use Facebook and you can use TikTok. They are both equally good. I have no problem with either of them. Um, TikTok will tend to be a little bit cheaper per meeting. Facebook, you know, depending on your ad account, depending on how much Facebook likes you, it might be a little bit more expensive. So if you launch on Facebook and you're like, hey, my costs are high, even though I did everything right, switch to TikTok. It's easy. You can film vertical TikTok videos. Um, it's not hard. Uh, KPI for meeting cost. So this is what you should pay per meeting in roofing. Below 200 is okay. It's really not, but it's okay. Below 150 is good. Below 100 is excellent. Below 70 is amazing. You should really be aiming for below 100. If you watch the stuff that I teach you guys, if you build this out in the structure that I'm going to teach you, you should be able to get meetings for below 100 without issue. So here's the targeting for B2B. All of the targeting for roofing B2B is interest targeting. None of this, custom list, 1% of custom list. That's all nonsense. You can do that in the future with your own data once you've ran a ton of traffic. Uh, but to start, to have the highest chance of success starting, you need to be using interest targeting. And the best part, put it all on the slides for you guys. So <laughs> there's two ad sets. Um, one is interest narrow, one is interest broad. Just go into your, and I'll show you more to build this out, but just go into your ad set and make one ad set with this targeting and one ad set with this targeting. Uh, put some good creators on there and you're going to have a good time. Ad set structure, and again, I'll show you guys the build out. Dynamic ads, they must be dynamic. You must have five images, three body copy, and three headlines. Videos work amazing. They have to be TikTok style videos though. If you want a reference for good TikTok style videos, go to my TikTok page. Start each ad set at $100 per day, $100 per day. If you notice meetings are coming in cheaper, so you're like, oh, my meetings are coming at $40 per day, then you don't necessarily need as high of a budget and future ad sets that you launch can be launched at lower budgets. But to start, start at 100 per day and then adjust from there. So let me show you guys the funnel for B2B for Facebook and I'll show you guys some of the uh, build out. So this is the funnel I like to use and it's on the slides. There's the share link for it. Basically what it is, is it's calendar embedded here at the top. You can put your phone number here. 
strong head headline that reinforces your guarantee and then social proof. Now, if you guys don't have social proof whatsoever, you can delete these sections. It still performs without them. Um, just this top section with these reasons to work with us has worked really well for me, uh, even without the rest of, you know, all this stuff. Um, so this is in the description and I'm going to show you guys two important things. Um, first on the ads build out, I want to show you how to build a universal pixel, a pixel that you share across all of your ad accounts and that you use one conversion event. That way all of your clients data contributes together. All of it together makes it stronger and stronger. That way, um, you're not starting new every single client that you close. So you go into your business settings for your BM. Then you create the pixel here under data sources. So for example, we'll hit add. We'll name it test pixel. Continue. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Now what, this is the important part. You're going to hit add assets. And under here, you'll see every single one of the ad accounts connected to your BM. Every, when you click on these, it assigns the pixel to that ad account. So if this is client one, client two, client three, none of them are in Dallas. You can then add the same pixel to all of these accounts and then fire the same conversion event for all the clients. Uh, that way you train one individual conversion event for every single one of your clients. It becomes very strong and your lead, your lead cost across the board goes way down. Um, as far as the actual build out, it's very simple guys. So let me show it to you. So we're going to hit create. Uh, let's say leads, manual leads campaign, never do the tailored automatic crap. We'll name it roofing. Ad sets, there's going to be two. Name one narrow. Name one broad. Now let me show you the ad set settings. Website, maximize number of conversions, select the pixel. The test pixel that we just made would be the one I would select, should have been assigned to the account. Attribution setting, one day click. Dynamic creative, on, continue. Daily budget, $100, <laughs> not a thousand, hundred dollars per day. Location, United States, you can do United States and Canada as well. Sometimes when you include Canada, you do get cheaper leads, although Canadian roofing companies don't do as much business during the winter because it gets so cold. So you have to be aware of that. Age, I would do like 24, 25 plus. I would do to 64 cap. We don't need to be targeting 70 year olds. There's no 70 year old roofers. Gender, they're pretty much all gonna be male for roofing. You can target women if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I would test it, but most likely your data is going to show men only, um, is, is the ones converting detailed targeting. Now this is where you add all of these interest, uh, here, interest, broad interest, narrow. Um, that's where you add all of those manual placements. It needs to be fa Facebook and Instagram newsfeed only. all this stuff out of here expand this make sure only the top two are selected under here for the ad remember five images three body copy and three headlines drive the traffic to your lander so unselect multi-advertiser ads it's lame media just choose five random one, two, three. Oh, my God. oh this is the ad set that I didn't select dynamic on maybe. Yeah. 
That is why. Two, three, four, five. Pretend these are valid creatives for roofing. Optimize creative for each person. Um, you can try it on, you can try it off. I usually turn it off. Primary text, you're gonna have three body copy. And you're going to have three headlines. One, two, three. Website URL. This is where you link this. So sign your domain to this, link this website uh, from high level, and yeah, you'll be good to go. Okay. So we went through the Facebook ad to build out for B2B. I showed you how to do the pixel for all your clients. By the way, the pixel for all your clients, that's for B2C. The B2B one, you can have a dedicated pixel for it. Uh, but when you use the pixel for all the clients, that's for B2C, just so we're clear on that. Um, okay, so within TikTok, we only run, want to run lead form ads to start. That's what I'm gonna recommend for most of you. When you're running B2B on TikTok, start with lead form ads. You can test conversion ads to a lander eventually. If you have enough budget, you can test both to start, but to begin, just test lead form ads. Hit create. So this is within the TikTok uh, ad account. We're gonna hit lead generation, campaign name, roofing test. You guys may have seen me build out TikTok ads before. This will be very similar to all previous build outs, but I do want to show it for those of you who haven't seen it. Okay. United States. Make sure video download. That's all fine. Ad group name. We're going to name it open. United States languages all. Languages English. Gender, all, again, you probably just want to do male. Household income, leave that alone. Interest behaviors, leave all that stuff alone. Daily budget, i probably put it at like 70. Uh, these are just lead form submissions, so it'll be a little bit cheaper uh, than Facebook. So instead of starting at, at 100 like Facebook, you can just start at 70. Cost cap, take that off. You want to make sure it's lowest cost. That's it, next. <clears throat> Pretend we have a roofing ad. By the way, I do have a swipe file of I do have a swipe file of B two B ads for TikTok included in the slides, so you guys aren't just left hanging uh, in terms of what it should look like. More be, below summation point um, interactive add ons and all that stuff. Call to action standard. Learn more. I don't like any of the other ones. Uh, instant form, we're gonna hit create just to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I use classic form, confirm. Form language, English, form type, more volume. Introduction, turn that off, it's not needed. Question, name, email, phone number. Put name first, then email, then phone number. Below to then put like your guarantee to get 30 qualified appointments, whatever it happens to be. I don't add any logic, privacy, put the link to your privacy policy. Headline for the thank you page, one last step. Then it should be schedule your appointment below to uh, reserve your 30 guaranteed leads or something like that, or to reserve uh, exclusivity in your area. Um, schedule now for the button text and then link it directly to your Calendly. You don't have to link it to some fancy conversion page uh, or you have a bunch of testimonials. Those convert less usually. You wanna link it just straight to a Calendly or a Calendly embedded on a blank page if you wanna track uh, conversion events there. That's it for that. Um, I'm not actually gonna use this one. I have other ones built. Let's just use this one for example. We're gonna do two more targeting options that are valuable for 
TikTok. Roofing test. Let's turn that off so I don't spend money on acquiring roofing clients. Okay, we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna duplicate it once. This ad set is gonna be named High Intent. High Intent. We're gonna go down here and we're going to to select everything in these first three categories. So these first three categories that I expanded, you're going to select all interest. So go through and check every single box in all three of these categories. I'm not gonna do it all. I don't have time <laughs> to, to check boxes on screen every single time. I film too many of these, uh, but you get the point. All three of these categories, check all boxes. Then for the high intent ad set, you're gonna select watch till the end, shared seven days on the second category. And then on the third category, you're going to select followed. Then hit next, daily budget. Yep, that's all good. Hit next. Submit. Okay. Then we're going to duplicate the high intent don't duplicate the open. You'll just create more work for yourself. Duplicate the high intent. Rename it low intent. And what you're going to do is you're going to expand the second and the third category and select the inverse of what we had selected before. So now it's 15 days liked and commented. See how I selected the inverse final one viewed profile instead of followed next. And we're almost there. We now have a working TikTok B2B campaign. If you filmed a good creative based on some of the ones in the swipe file I sent over, this will get you very cheap leads and very cheap meetings. To expand from here, you can test lookalikes. I'll film another module on that in the future. Another lesson, another time. But this, you can spend hundreds of dollars per day just on this, get a ton of meetings, close a ton of clients, and uh, yeah, build a freaking agency. Now, let's go back here. Here's the TikTok ads B2B swipe file. You can look through this yourself. There's three really good examples in here. My face on them. Um, film them exactly the same. Yours should look almost identical to mine. Other things you can do for B2B. Like I said earlier in this presentation, Voicemail drops work very, very well. Text blast also work very, very well. Roofers list their phone number in these databases. So when you get a database scraped and you get all the phone numbers, it's mostly cell phone numbers. They don't have front desk, they don't have receptionists, they run small operations most of the time and they want to be called. So uh, use voicemails, use voicemail drops, use text blast and run some B2B ads and you will have more meetings than you really even know what to do with. Best platforms for B2C, Facebook and TikTok. They both work. YouTube can kind of work if you go statewide, but I can't recommend it. Stick on Facebook, stick on TikTok. There's, there's so much progress to be had there. You'll get your clients amazing results with just these two with the with TikTok to find TikTok creatives for roofing. Let me show you guys something. TikTok ads library. Let me go here. And here we go. So really easy to find TikTok creatives for roofing. Um, some people message me and they're like, Isaac, I can't find creatives for XYZ niche. And then I just go on TikTok ads library, type it in, and there's like 50 ads for it. Roofing is the case for that. The ads are right here. Those aren't even my ads, but I know they're good. I can tell good ads when I see them at this point in my life. I've ran millions through ads. Uh, so these ads will work. These ads are good. Test out the ads in the TikTok ads library. They're literally sitting there for you because the people who ran them forgot to uncheck the box to share their ads with everybody. Lucky us, unlucky them. Lead cost for B2C. Below 35 is okay in tough areas. Below 25 is good. And below 15 is excellent. This isn't Cairo. 
where you can get $8 leads. You can get that in some areas. Roofing is a little bit more expensive. These people are looking to replace the entire top of their house. The leads are a little bit pricier than Cairo or Med Spa or people getting Botox. It's a little bit pricier. That's how it's supposed to be. People come to me and they'll be getting like $20 per lead in roofing. And they're like, what did I do wrong? I'm like, nothing is literally perfect. You, you just don't know what you're looking for. Facebook ad swipe file, it's right here. Roofing ad copy, 2023, updated for 2023. I compiled all of the top roofing ad copy for you guys and some really good images. Um, I'll show you guys how to implement those on Facebook here shortly. The lander it needs to be a survey lander. Again, I included an example for you guys. This is a very, very high performing survey lander. You can rebuild this on high level. It will take basically zero effort. Um, it's, it's very basic. It's a, it's a survey. From here, you bring them to schedule. Um, but you guys can go through this one as an example. Um, all of your traffic is going to be run to survey for B to C. Uh, for B to B, like I showed you, lead forms on on TikTok is fine. Uh, for B to C though, it all needs to run through a lander through the uh, through conversion ads. You're going to get the best results that way. Uh, Facebook ad setup. So let's go through it. It's very simple. Let me show you guys leads manual leads campaign, roofing B2C. Name the ad set, ad creative one. Choose the pixel that you shared with all of your accounts. So whatever pixel that was. Um, remember all of your clients should be sharing the same pixel dynamic creative off. We don't want that on for local daily budget. I would probably put it at $25. You can do 20 if you're looking to conserve, but daily budget, $25 location, United States. Let's do, um, let's do a random pin drop. Uh, Four two seven. We'll do fifty miles. Good radius. Age mm, twenty five, twenty four, twenty five plus. Genders, all genders. Detailed targeting, leave that off. Languages, English only. Again, just like B2B, we're gonna choose manual placements. Facebook and Instagram, feeds only, nothing else. For the ad, we are going to come over here to our roofing ads. Unselect multi-advertiser, we don't want that. And we are just going to copy. This, this is the easiest ad build out you guys are gonna ever have to do. Because you can just copy this all in right here. Um, add media, let's add an image. and URL. So let's add the landing page, this URL. So as you can see, and let me delete this one and this one just to get rid of the confusion. For every ad set, you're gonna do one creative. This is the key to roofing. So we're gonna duplicate this ad set and then we'll do ad creative two, then put this one in. Then we're gonna duplicate it again and then we'll do ad creative three and so on and so on. You can do as many as fit within your client budget. 
Um, as far as the images, you can just choose images from here. You can choose images of good looking roofs on Google. The images don't matter so much in roofing. It's more of the ad copy angle. It's kind of a rare exception in that case. Um, now, after you run a few clients, you're going to notice that certain ads consistently outperform others. Like let's say ad copy three and ad copy four perform the best. Once that starts happening and you start noticing a trend, you don't have to launch all of these for every client. Eventually, the only time you're going to have to launch all of these all at once is when you get a rough area. When the area is rough, you're not really getting leads with the usual ads that work. And you're like, okay, let's test a bunch of angles. For your first few clients, you're going to have to launch a bunch of them. You just have to figure out what works uh, for your area in the current month, in the current year, blah, blah, blah. But once you find the ones that work, you can just take those ones and launch them for all new clients. And then the only time you'll launch all of them is for really troublesome areas. Let's go back here. TikTok ads for roofing. I just linked you guys to the TikTok ads library. Um, it's not complicated. For the TikTok ad setup, set it up exactly like B2B ads, except set it up running to a survey lander. Use the exact same targeting I showed you for B2B. Obviously select the local area, don't do nationwide. Um, and then all you have to do is set up the lander as the place it goes instead of running to a lead form. Because again, B2C for roofing is always lander. I also gave you guys in these slides the high level campaign I use for my B2C leads. It includes the voicemails that go out to the leads, the text that go out to the leads, the emails that go out to the leads. There is a link to that in these Google slides. This niche, you can scale extremely quickly in it if you play your cards right. Use what I've given you, set up the B2B campaigns properly, set up your pricing structure properly, use the proven pitch deck, and you will close like crazy. If you're watching this video months from now, you'll probably see people in the comments talking about getting their first closes through. It's that easy. You just have to have things set up properly and you have to deliver results for the clients using the resources that I showed you. None of this is complicated, guys. It's all easy if you follow my instructions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna keep cranking these out. We got the lighting, you see the gold, you see the blue, we're growing the channel. Um, glad to have you guys along with me and let's keep doing good work together. See you guys later.